We've known for a long time that exercise is great for your brain, but this new study out of Stanford, unbelievable. So here's what they did. They took blood plasma from mice that were running as much as they want on a wheel and put it into other mice that were not exercising. And they found that this changed the brains of the other mice in a very good way. So it's been shown before that in mice, exercising can cause the birth of new brain cells called neurogenesis. And this specifically happens in a brain area called the hippocampus, which is the brain's memory hub. So here they show that mice that got just the blood plasma from the exercising mice but didn't exercise had increased neurogenesis in the hippocampus and did better at learning and memory tasks. I'm not done. It also lowered the expression levels of certain genes involved in neuroinflammation. And when they specifically induced neuroinflammation, it seemed to offset some of the effects. They linked these effects to a certain molecule in the blood called clusterin. And when they activated clusterin in a mouse model of Alzheimer's, it had similar effects in reducing neuroinflammation. Here's the cherry on top. They had 20 adult human men with mild cognitive impairment do a six-month exercise regimen. And they showed that this increased the expression of clusterin in their blood plasma. Okay, so obviously this doesn't mean that you should get a blood transfusion from someone who works out. Of course, it's just one study and it's in mice, but this study supports the existing evidence that exercise is great for your brain. So do what you can. Follow to learn more about neuroscience.